Hi, this is Bruce, and in this video we're going to learn how to use the Google Maps JavaScript API to add a map to our website and add a marker to our map with a label and a title. Let's get started. So you can see I've got a set up here with a page that has some introductory information and a place where we can put a map and add a marker to that map for the location of your organization or uh, business. So I've got um, an HTML page um, and we can see the, the uh, section for the intro and we've got a section here um, that I've called location where we're going to put the map and I've given it an ID of simple map. In the CSS, you can see I've set the width to 90 viewport width and 75 viewport height and centered it using margin zero auto. Um, I've also given it a bit of padding um, as well as a bit of a background color so that we can see it slightly separate from the rest of the page. And I've also connected a JavaScript file where we'll put the code in order to display the map. So let's start by going and visiting the Google Maps JavaScript API tutorial. Um, and you notice here that you need an account uh, in order to be able to use the uh, Google Maps API or Google Maps platform API. Um, and they've got an example of the uh, code that we need right here. And so we're, I'm going to start by copying the script and pasting it in the bottom of my HTML page and substituting in my API key. And then you'll notice um, and then you'll notice that it's also got a callback for a function called init map. So let's upload that. And then we'll go and we will create that function. And we can copy the code from here. And if we want to set it to where our organization or uh, business is, then we can go to the Google Maps. And you can see once you've located uh, your business organization on the map, then in the URL up at the top, we can see the, la the degrees latitude and degrees longitude. So let's copy those. and paste them here. And next we will add a query selector in order to choose our map. And so you can see here, we've uh, created the map and we've got it centered over Vanier. But if we were to zoom in a little bit more, we can set the zoom between one and 19, I believe. Now you should, we should be able to zoom in, or the map will zoom in and we can see clearly Vanier. So the next step would be to add a marker to our map. So we, if we click on the tutorial adding a map with a marker, and we can copy the code for the marker. And we can paste it right here. Now you can see here they've got a uh, position of Uluru, 
what we're going to do is we're going to create a position called Vanier and we're going to set it equal to the lat and longitude, the latitude and longitude. And then we'll put Vanier as the where we want to center the map and Vanier as the position for our marker. And if we come back here and refresh, now you can see we've got that marker on almost on Vanier. And if we wanted to, we could also add a title and a label. So now you can see we've got a label right over top of the marker and we've got a title if we hover over top of the marker you can see the title will come up.